This is the morning office for February 19th. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit, and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and one mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The portion of the Psalter appointed for today is Psalm 19, verses 7 to 14. The law of the Lord is perfect and revives the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure and gives wisdom to the innocent. The statutes of the Lord are just and rejoice the heart. The commandment of the Lord is clear and gives light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean and endures forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, more than much fine gold, sweeter far than honey, than honey in the comb. By them also is your servant enlightened, and in keeping them there is great reward. Who can tell how often he offends? Cleanse me from my secret faults. Above all, keep your servant from presumptuous sins. Let them not get dominion over me. Then shall I be whole and sound and innocent of a great offense. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Leviticus. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to all the congregation of the people of Israel, and say to them, You shall be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. You shall not steal, you shall not deal falsely, and you shall not lie to one another. And you shall not swear falsely by my name, profaning the name of your God. I am the Lord. You shall not defraud your neighbor. You shall not steal, and you shall not keep for yourself the wages of a laborer until morning. You shall not revile the deaf or put a stumbling block before the blind. You shall fear your God. I am the Lord. You shall not render an unjust judgment. You shall not be partial to the poor or defer to the great. With justice you shall judge your neighbor. You shall not go around as a slanderer among your people, and you shall not profit by the blood of your neighbor. I am the Lord. You shall not hate in your heart any one of your kin. You shall reprove your neighbor, or you will incur, incur guilt yourself. You shall not take vengeance or bear a grudge against any of your people, but you shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Jesus, Savior of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our Savior and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. My thought on silence for today comes from a book on silence written by a cardinal of the Roman Catholic Church, Robert Sara, who's from somewhere in West Africa. He talks in his book about what he calls the dictatorship of noise and the illusion of cheap democracy that comes with being able to speak. He's also that there's a subtle violence caused by the devil in this noise. It's a strong way of putting it, but I think he has a point. Somehow it, noise is insistent. 
We have eyelids and can close them so we don't see things, but we have no ear lids. There is almost no way to completely block out noise. So what is around us trying to distract us is in some ways uh, better able to win that fight than we are to defeat it. It's worth thinking about what the value is of all that noise that is around us. Does it aid us? Does it hinder us? Does it help us in any way to become closer to God? Or is it simply something that anesthetizes us in the meantime and stops us from thinking too much? We who are surrounded all the time by images and songs and television and everything else that assaults us should think once in a while about what that's doing and how much of it is uh, giving itself more value than it truly deserves. I ask your prayers for the day, the world, and the church. Pray for all those, our neighbors, who are in need, all those who hide behind the curtains and we have no idea what their needs even are. Pray that we will be given the wisdom to know how best to reach out to those around us. Pray for the needs of those who are far away, those whom we fail to see simply because they are so far removed from our daily reality. Help us to recognize in them the humanity that we share with them. And pray for all those, our fellow Christians around the world, who day by day are living a faithful life, day by day are trying to proclaim the kingdom of God where they are in their own context, in their own words, and in their own way. Almighty and everlasting God, mercifully increase in us your gifts of holy discipline in almsgiving, prayer, and fasting, that our lives may be directed to the fulfilling of your most gracious will. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.